The COVID-19 pandemic has caused extreme and parallel challenges with different implications for both men and women around the world. But as the world continues to fight the challenges posed by the pandemic, African women scientists are demonstrating their leadership in their various communities and countries. Not only are they on the front lines of the response efforts to treat and stop the spread of the virus, but they are also spearheading advances in health and safety in their roles as scientists, researchers, innovators, and communicators in ways you would never know from the media coverage of the pandemic. Thank you so much, Casa Africa and Never Hills, for granting me this unique opportunity to share my story to the world during this unsettling COVID-19 period. My name is Christine Wehre, a finally student at Kenyatta University. I'm pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering. Besides, I'm an innovator. When COVID-19 was declared a, a global pandemic in March 2020, the government of Kenya, through the competent directorate of His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, directed the closure of all learning institutions. We were all instructed to go home and stay with our parents for our own safety. As budding engineers, we couldn't stay at home and watch the world run. That's the reason why we teamed up in a group of 15 students and decided to design and build a ventilator from scratch. Our ventilator is called Tibabens. Tiba is a Swahili word that means street. Growing up, I've always been passionate about sciences, and actually sciences were my best performed subject in school. I remember in the year 2015 when I completed my secondary school education, cancer was very prevalent in the society and many people that I knew succumbed to cancer. And the situation was very devastating. And I started brainstorming what are these initiatives or activities that I can do so that I can elevate this health status. Um, then I got into research. I was researching topics like genetic mutation and various technologies that are used in cancer treatment. Uh, and with time, I came across biomedical engineering, and the description of the course was very fascinating. Um, employing engineering skills and principles and knowledge to come up with life saving technologies. Wow, I really loved it. And I actually applied um, to pursue the course in one of the local universities, Kenyatta University, and I'm happy to say that here I am today, a final student at Kenyatta University. Beside me is Tiba Bent. Chiba vent is a Swahili word that means street. It's a mechanical ventilator. And mechanical ventilators are used by patients with respiratory illnesses like COVID-19 to pump sufficient and um, good quality air to their lungs. Um, a mechanical ventilator has various supplies. That includes the gases on that end. We have the power supply. And in this ventilator, we have a backup battery at the lower side. We have the user interface, which is the interaction between the patient and the doctor. We have the mannequin. The mannequin represents our patient. These are the patient circuits that connect the device to the patient. So I'll open my battery from here. The two gases, that's medical gas and oxygen, they are mixed in the appropriate proportions, then they come into the machine. On the user interface, you can choose the mode, the doctor can choose the specific mode of ventilation that is required for the patient, depending on the medical status. So we have two modes, we have the intermittent mandatory ventilation, and we have the pressure control ventilation. Uh, apart from that, we have various parameters that the doctor must set uh, for ventilation to be very efficient. So from here, I can just do a short demonstration. I'll change the proportion of oxygen. I can also change the breathing rate, the respiratory rate. Then I'll start ventilating. For safety of our patients, we have incorporated alarms 
that will alert the doctor or the nurse in case of any inconveniences. And you have also ensured that you have logs installed um, for the doctor to follow up on the patient's condition and on the machine functionality. Apart from that, um, to ensure safety, we make sure that all the, material, all the materials that we use are biocompatible and very safe for use. In addition, in designing, we ensure that our design is compliant with all the ISO standards. TIBAVENT is an award-winning project. We have won various awards, like the 2020 Ubora Design Competition and the United Nations 2020 Person of the Year. And we are very honored and grateful for that. It's been a fabulous opportunity for me to take part in this innovation. And I'm honored to have shared the biomedical engineering team. I've acquired vast knowledge and skills in various dimensions and it also improved on my social and interpersonal skills. I look forward to coming up with more innovations, especially using the fourth industrial revolution technologies in enhancing the in enhancing diagnosis and treatment of cancer. I extend much gratitude to Kenyatta University School of Engineering and Technology for encouraging us to work in interdisciplinary teams. Our mentors for the guidance, our parents and my colleagues for their neighboring support. Great thanks to the Kenyan to the Kenyan government, Ministry of Health and Ministry of Education. To all ladies and gentlemen in STEM, I'd like to tell you that this is the era of STEM. Let's all continue improving on our skills in our area of expertise. It's our time to give service to humanity and it's our time to save the world. Thank you.